Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we will be talking about the coronavirus in Wuhan and the effects of it and what it is. First of all, let's begin and say what is the coronavirus. The Wuhan virus belongs to a family of viruses known as coronaviruses. These viruses, named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces, infect mostly bats, pigs and small mammals, but they mutate easily and can jump from animals to humans, and from one human to another. In recent years, they have been a growing player in infectious disease outbreaks worldwide. Another question is, how is the virus spread among humans? Well, several strains are known to infect humans, including the virus in Wuhan. They can be spread by coughing, kissing, or making contact with saliva. And Chinese officials say four of the strains cause common colds. Two other strains, however, have been extremely deadly. Severe acute respiratory system, known as SARS, or SARS, and Middle East Respiratory System, known as MERS. Where, when did the outbreak start? The outbreak is believed to have originated in December in a seafood and, and meat market in Wuhan. After spreading throughout China and other countries in Asia, it recently arrived in the US. The US case involves a Washington state man in his 30s who had recently travelled to Wuhan. In China, the outbreak is responsible for hundreds of confirmed cases and more than a dozen deaths. So yeah, like I said, a new respiratory virus has emerged, which is sickening hundreds and causing some deaths. The virus originated in the central Chinese city of Wuhan, quickly spread throughout China and other countries in Asia, and it has come to the US. Health authorities expect that it will spread even further. Still, the World Health Organization declined on Thursday to declare the outbreak a global public health emergency citing a limited number of cases abroad and efforts underway to bring it under control. Didier Haussin, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, said, It's too early to consider that this event is a public health emergency of international concern. And Didier Haussin is the chairman of an emergency committee that studied the outbreak. So let's go into the science stuff about the coronavirus. Researchers aren't sure how the novel coronavirus first infected people in China, but the viruses that cause SARS and MERS, which originated in bats, provide clues. Proteins on the outer shell of the virus allow it to latch onto cells in the host respiratory tract. The protein shapes are determined by the virus's genes. To infect new hosts, the virus's genes undergo mutations that alter its surface proteins, allowing them to latch onto the cells of the new species. In the case of SARS, the virus jumped from bats to civet cats before gaining the ability to infect humans. In the case of MERS, camels serve as the intimate host. Coronaviruses can also jump directly to humans without mutating or passing through an intimate species. Researchers aren't sure what animal the novel coronavirus originated or whether it passed through an intimate species before infecting humans. And the question is, what are the symptoms of illness and how do you know if you have it? Patients are known to have a fever, a cough or other symptoms of pneumonia. Public health officials have developed diagnostic tests which are being used to confirm whether a patient has the Wuhan coronavirus or another infection. Five major airports in the US are screening arrival international travellers to fever. Those who have one are then screened for other symptoms. And how does the severity of Wuhan virus compare with SERS and MERS? So, so far, the Wuhan virus appears to be milder than SERS or MERS. Through it has sickened some people severely and there's been deaths. MERS killed about a third of those infected, while SARS resulted in the death of about 1 in 10. By contrast, the mortality rate from the Wuhan virus is tracking at roughly 3%. Many patients who have died were over 60 years old and had other illnesses such as diabetes and were admitted to hospitals when the illnesses was advanced. Are there drugs to treat coronaviruses? There aren't any drugs or vaccines approved specifically for the Wuhan virus. Antivirus, antivirals already on the market might treat the infection, which researchers say they will start to investigate. In addition, a few vaccine makers have recently said they would begin delivering products to target the Wuhan virus. And as a result of this, China has locked down some cities including Wuhan to try to contain a fast spreading virus. So this is selected data on human coronaviruses outbreaks in Asia. The new strain of coronavirus has affected nine countries 
and there is 881 cases with 26 deaths. The Guangdong province in China has severe acute respiratory system syndrome, which is SARS. The total countries affected was 26, with 8,098 cases and 774 deaths from 2002 to 2003. The Middle East respiratory system, the total countries affected there was 27 and was started in 2012 and is still around today with a reported 858 deaths and 2,494 cases. On top of all of this, more than 200 cases of the disease have been confirmed so far with instances also being reported in Japan, Thailand and South Korea with medical workers amongst those affected. But should the average person be worried about the virus? And here's what we know about it. The coronavirus tends to come from animals or seafood. Many of the people who've contracted the virus so far in China work in close proximity to fish markets or are health workers. This strain of the virus is different to any of that has been encountered before, which partly why it's making the headlines right now. You may remember that there was an outbreak of severe acute respiratory system, which is SARS, in China over a decade ago. The virus ended up spreading to 37 countries causing a huge panic and infecting more than 8,000 people. SARS is, cos is caused by coronaviruses that came from animals just like Mid Middle Eastern Respiratory System which is MERS which you might have heard of. Does it kill people? A person's recovery will depend on their immune system and if they have any other health issues. People who have died so far are known to have pre-existing health issues so, so those in good health are at less risk. So, can you catch it from people? So, is it airborne? The Chinese authorities have confirmed that this strain of the virus has been passed from person to person. So, should we be worried? So, right now it seems that people in good health who don't work near seafood and are in direct contact with the virus are likely to be largely unaffected. But with people travelling because of Chinese New Year, it's possible that the virus could spread even worldwide. So the question is, will the coronavirus become a pandemic? Well, the answer is no. The coronavirus does not have potential to become a pandemic. At most, they can cause multiple geographical localised outbreaks, but there is no chance for a pandemic, which is good if you're actually worried about that. So how far has the virus spread? The first cases of pneumonia-like viruses were reported in Wuhan, like as mentioned on January the 31st. The first, case, the first US case was confirmed on January the 24th in a man in Washington state who had recently travelled to Wuhan on January the 24th. Officials confirmed a second case, a woman from Chicago who had recently travelled to the Chinese city. Both cases were hospitalised but doing well, that officials have said. The CDC is also investigating more than 60 people in 22 states for a possible infection with the new virus. Officials said on Friday, the January the 24th, 11 of those people have so far tested negative from the virus. Despite it not being very likely that it could cause a pandemic, how would the virus cause a pandemic? In order for this virus or any to lead to a pandemic in humans, it needs to free things efficiently effect, infect humans, replicate in humans and then spread easily among humans. Right now the CDC is saying that, that this virus passes between humans in a limited manner but they are still investigating. So they're really not sure yet that there is a chance that it will become a pandemic but it is unlikely that it will as it just doesn't have potential to become a pandemic. So, thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it to the end, please give me a like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to the channel. And also, let me know what you think about the coronavirus and what you think the potential of the virus is, or do you reckon it will be treated or contained in Wuhan or other places that it's been contained at? So, yeah. If this video does well, or if you want more about the coronavirus, if there's anything more to say, then also please let me know about that in the comments. So, have a good one. Goodbye.